Hello there. You've probably seen me run a web HUD uh, in Race Room, but there's actually a web HUD you can run to get more information than the one that a Race Room themselves provide for you. Uh, and I'll show you how to use it and how to download it, install it, and run it. So, this is the web HUD from Race Room themselves. And you simply click download here, or you can just hit, I believe, this button here. You can do it that way. But the easiest way is just to download the file from up there. So after you've done that and you've downloaded it, it will be in a zip file. Simply just extract all, and you'll be able to get access. And after you've done that, go to this public section, which it says in the notes. And then you have to extract this, go inside the dash, where it says dash again, just hit dash exl config. Nope, that's the wrong one, just hit the dash array application. Uh, and it will be running, it says looking for RE3. But there's another step you have to do before this will work. I'll show you quickly. What you have to do is you need to open Steam, make it smaller so you guys can see it. Go to library, go to race room, and hit properties. And what you have to do is you see where it says C launch options there. Open up, I'll open up Google and show you. So this is the web HUD address that you would need to add from Ration themselves in that if you just want to run the basic new version that they're running. But if you want to use the new one that I use from Otterboy, okay, here it is. It's this one. Here's made by it's Otter HUD. Now what you do, all the steps are the same, but in the URL, all you do is copy all of this, all of it. Not some of it as I thought so, where it says HTTPC, but all of it. And then when you open up Steam, and go to Properties, Launch Options, put it in here. I'll show you again, just so you could doubly know. That's where to put it. So you're thinking, great, I know how to run this now. Yeah, I'll shut this down. But actually, other than just clicking this and getting it running that way, when you open Race Room, there is a simpler way to do it. Now, most of you are probably running through Chief. And you can actually get the web HUD now working through Crew Chief at the same time to save on memory. And so it's less things for you to have open. So all you do is, is make sure this is on race room. Go properties. And in the search, search section, just hit web. Now you'll see, it says here, enable web HUD integration. Just enable it and hit down here, save changes. Now after you do that, simply Hit start. Radio check. Mike, checker. One, two, checker. Oh, yes, sir. This is the spotter. Thank you, crew chief. Now, and Jeff, all we've got to do is open. I'll open Race Room now. And I'll show you what it looks like after we've opened this. So, now that everything's running, when you hit drive, the web hard should all show up. And you've probably seen videos on how to config this and that you can drag everything to where you want it to be and size it as well. Everything can be sized how you want it to be. Simply use your mouse wheel and what have you and you can bring it up. And this, you can change this as well to what you want it to be. You can change it to that one and then click on it. I think you have to go out of the pits now and then it will change back. But yeah, that's how you run this uh, updated uh, version, and you're able to basically 
change things around and you're able to see the fuel you're using per lap so you know how much you need in the race and what have you and if you need to pit stop how much to put in for the end of the race so you don't have to guess so thanks for watching guys i'll catch you in the next one uh, please hit that sub button and see you later